morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here. Out on the porch today. I thought I'd mix it up a little. This is a screened-in porch that we have here. Got the old glory over my shoulder. And it's just nice to come out and relax here from time to time. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Monday, the barber opens so I can take care of this. Woo, little slick back Friday here. But, uh, yeah, fist pumps, fist pumps, fist pumps. Can you believe next week is June? OMG. Okay, so if you still need to all work, come on, get it done. Do your homework. You know, summer school is going to be distance learning. So if you didn't like this, it's going to be the same thing again in July or there's something similar to it. So get your work done, pass and move on. Okay, especially you seniors. Come on, time is running out. Let's get her done. All right. Uh, I hope you have a safe weekend too. It's Friday. Keep it legal and moral. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. But hey, now to the fist pumps. We've got uh, Carlicia Weekfall. Congratulations. You're working hard in math. Keep it up. We got Jaden Ellis. Okay, you too. You're doing great in your schoolwork and, and keep it up. We've got, oh, and those were both from uh, D. Ranson. It sounds like you're your math teacher. Okay, uh, we got Kevin Post. Okay, keeping regular communications through distance learning. That's from Ms. DeSantis. Uh, from Kay Flynn to Zach Smith, uh, excellence. You know, keeping a positive attitude, which we're all trying to do through this. Uh, Zach, thanks for doing that. We've got, uh, from Mr. Brandon, we got Natalie Peterson, respect and excellence. Natalie went out of her way to write an email just to say hello and how I was doing, okay? I've had a few of those too, it's great. It, it really means a lot, kids, reaching out to your teachers. All right, Lauren Hennessy from Ms. Shug again. Uh, Lauren continues to work hard in algebra and will continue to ask questions, keep it up. We've got Bryce Rowe, Rowe also from Ms. Shug, professionalism, involvement, Bryce continues to work on his algebra and stays committed to his work. Nice job, Bryce. Hey, okay, from uh, Mr. Ribzak, we got Sophia Costello. Sophia does a great job transitioning to online learning. Uh, also, we have from Mr. Ribzak, uh, Josh Enslin. Josh does a great job in distance learning. Alessandra Fernandez, nice. She, AF's been doing great for me too. Uh, for Ms. Ribzak, uh, doing a great job in transition learning. Keep up the good work. These are all earth science, okay? Good job. We got, uh, and then finally, we got Brian Gailey, okay, from Mr. Ribzak, uh, doing a great job and keeping up with your earth science, all right? Again, weekend, weekend, keep it legal and moral. Do your homework, home stretch, okay? Next week's June 1st. Next Monday's June 1st. It's hard to believe, okay? You do your homework, you pass. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say, but again, it's your choice, okay? But Richie loves you, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week about Central New York entering Phase 2 of reopening, it has been said that plans to enter Phase 2 today have been changed. Phase 2 of reopening the state included the opening of offices, retail shops, barbers, stylists, and even Destiny USA. Throughout this past week, McMahon hyped up and promised the reopening, but Central New York does not have the okay from Governor Cuomo, as he never explicitly said this week that any region would be able to start Phase 2. The breakdown in communication between the state and county governments led to conflicting directives on whether businesses can reopen today. Although Central New York will not reopen today, Paul Rowe, a tattoo artist on James Street, stated he already had appointments set up for Friday and plans to reopen and keep them. finally starting to settle down, the NFL is looking into whether or not they will be playing this year. According to the Dolphins owner Steve Ross, he says that there will definitely be a season. The league will release its full schedule this week. I'm Isabella Sports. The Premier League is set to return on June 17th after a 100-day break. 
Also, the Security A League is set to return on June 20th. These games will most likely be played with no fans. Ty Yorids and Peyton Manning defeated Phil Nicholson and Tom Brady in the match. A total of $20 million was raised during this charity event. I'm Chris with Sports.